Reviewing a Chrome box is a challenge. All you get is a small, featureless box that runs a simple OS based on a web browser, so hunting around for points of differentiation between Chromebox A and Chromebox B can be kind of difficult. At least Chromebooks bear all the hardware features of a typical PC notebook. They include a keyboard and a display, and can be evaluated for their weight, shape, and overall suitability as travel machines. But a Chromebox just sits there. It can be a capable desktop vehicle for accessing the web via Google Chrome, and not much more. So how should we compare Chromeboxes? Well, once you determine whether Chrome OS can meet your needs, what you do have to do is look at processing power and price. So in 2012, Google handed out Core i5-based Samsung 300M Chromeboxes to the attendees of its Google I.O. conference. Now, the hardware was probably a, a pretty decent PC in terms of specs. It really wasn't too bad, and especially when Samsung moved to its lower-performing dual-core Celeron, it, it really actually started to seem quite good. Now fast forward to now though, Asus is in the Chromebox game, and I would recommend that if you're going to buy a Chromebox, you should actually get the $179 dual core Celeron version of the new Asus Chromebox instead of the pricier Core i3 and Core i7 options. The price is sweet, and you don't need core caliber power to run a web browser. Now physically, the Asus Chromebox is one of the more compact Chromebox options available. It measures just 4.9 inches by 4.9 inches by 1.67 inches, and if that footprint isn't small enough, Asus actually includes a bracket for mounting it on a wall. Now when it comes to ports, Asus placed two USB 3.0 ports on the front of the box, an MMC SD slot, and a keyboard lock on the side, and power Ethernet HDMI, display port, a headphone microphone jack, and two more USB 3.0 slots on the rear. Dualband 802.11 ABGN and Bluetooth 4.0 are included as well. Now few real life applications can stress test a Chromebox besides a multi-party Google Hangout, and a few browser-based applications, but in, in in most bookmarks, the Asus Chromebox has done a lot better than the Chromebook Series 3, although it slightly underperformed the Toshiba CB35 A3120, which is another new, pre pre pretty new Chromebox, I should say. Now, subjectively, the Asus Chromebox does feel pretty fast, both when browsing the web and playing a few Flash games. Now, the M004U comes with either 2GB or 4GB of RAM, plus Intel integrated graphics, but the key spec might actually be storage. There's 16 gigabytes of internal flash, plus 100 gigabytes of Google's Google Drive cloud storage for not one, but two years. Now, for a productivity standpoint, I'm inclined to recommend a Chromebook like the $279 Toshiba one for people who really who have their heart set on Chrome OS hardware. A Chromebook, after all, can be picked up and moved from place to place. But if you already own a modern monitor and keyboard, the Asus Chromebox's dirt cheap $179 price point for accessing the web looks awfully tempting. Anyways, let me know what you think of the Asus Chromebox in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!